Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, episode number 258. When should you revolt against the church? Um, I had a, a good friend ask me the other day, um, you, know, um, you know, the Catholic Church is always in crisis. It's been in crisis since, uh, uh, I guess, Peter denied um, uh, Christ three times or Judas who was a great traitor. Uh, the Catholic Church has always been in crisis, much like any institution with more than one person is always in crisis. That's just the way it works. Um, but uh, the question was posed to me, you know, the church does a lot of things that aren't necessarily good. Uh, and so when should I, as a, a loyal son of the church, uh, start being disobedient to the church? And so, wow, that, well, that was a good question. And so uh, I'm not, and let me uh, first disclose, I'm not a great theologian. I'm kind of just a dad of nine kids, a physician, and I think a lot, but that's about it. I've uh, done a, you know, a lot of reading in my lifetime, and maybe I'll say the wrong thing, maybe I won't. But if you have a better idea, please uh, post it and tell me what, when you should uh, revolt against the church. And it, it came down to this, by the way. So uh, we have a couple principles. We're obedient to sons and daughters of the church, right? And so uh, what is obedience? Obedience is uh, doing as you're told, even when you don't want to. It's not doing as you're told when you want to. That's just you doing as you want to. Uh, because if you follow the church's commandments on everything you want, then you're just doing what you want. But following the church's uh, you know, um, moral teachings when you don't want to, that's a much harder proposition. And that's what obedience is. And obedience is very, very difficult uh, for most people. And um, well, anyway, so uh, throughout all of uh, the church history, we've had a lot of people be very disobedient. And when you're disobedient, it's called heresy. And it usually leads to either excommunication or the person coming back to the church or schism, you know, something like that. And so uh, you better be really, 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 really careful when you're disobedient to the church. Uh, because you can lead to uh, factions within Christianity. You could, I mean, Martin Luther, he was disobedient, right? Uh, he warred against the church. Do you want to be him? Probably not. Uh, John Calvin, same thing. You know, uh, the Arian heresy, you name it, the Pelagian heresy. Uh, lots of big heresies that have been uh, stomped down over time, and yet the church remains and it keeps going. And every, every couple of years, another big controversy uh, pops up where everybody says, well, is now the time? Is now the time to be disobedient? Well, anyway, there's a synod going down in the Amazon right now, which, um, uh, you know, the tradies out there are uh, saying are, are going to lead to, uh, like, reworking the moral teachings of the church. And so um, now, now is the time. Is now the time to step up and say no to the communist uh, pope we have or, you know, the New World Order uh, pope we have? Um, I'm not certain, right? So I actually came up with a principle. When would I be disobedient to the church? And I guess it's the same thing as in the United States military. When would I be disobedient to an order from above? Same thing, really. I would be disobedient to an order from above when it asks me to do an intrinsically evil act, right? Uh, there's man's law, then there's God's law. And so if uh, somebody asks me to go against God's law, then I would be disobedient and uh, I would stand up and say, no, you'll have to kill me first. I'm not going to do it. Uh, and until that point in time with the church, I, uh, like, I know for sure I would do it then. Now, are there any other avenues where I would actually do it a little bit earlier? I don't know. You know, um, there's a lot of things in, uh, so there's uh, Catholic dogma and there's Catholic doctrine within the church, right? I mean, I'm sorry, Catholic uh, doctrine, Catholic discipline in the church. Catholic discipline is one of how we worship and, you know, how we fast, you know, how many times you got to go. Uh, receive the Eucharist in a year, how many times you have to go to confession in a year, you know, there's all this discipline type stuff. The Mass is part of the discipline. Um, well, anyway, if it's a, it matters of Catholic discipline, I'm not going to be disobedient at all. A lot of people think that's, you know, uh, matters of Catholic discipline. If the church, if the magisterium does it wrong, you can actually step up and say no. That's part of the whole uh, Pius X society, you know, they, uh, uh, you know, the, the Pius V wrote the Mass, right, their Mass, and Oh, by the way, because he wrote the Mass, it actually, it's proof that it's a matter of Catholic discipline. And then it got rewrote again in, um, you know, Novus Ordo, 400 years later. Um, and so, like, they say, well, that's a matter. You know, if a pope rewrites a Mass, then that's when you can actually schism out and uh, stand against the Church. Well, I mean, Pius V did. What if people did it back then and said, no, we're not going to listen to Pius V because uh, he's just a pope and he's rewriting the Mass? Well, so did... Uh, you know, so John the 23rd, right? So well, anyway, um, I guess that's just something to think about. If it goes against matters of Catholic discipline, I think you kind of have to be an obedient son of the or, uh, son of the church. I mean, if it's a matter of Catholic discipline that you don't like, you have to be an obedient son or daughter of the church. If it's a matter of Catholic doctrine or uh, dogma or doctrine, I think you have, 
like if they say, you know, Jesus Christ is no longer the risen Lord and Savior or something like that. Well, then you'll be like, well, you know, you guys have gone too far in error and it's time for us to step up and fight, you know, because uh, that's just ridiculous. That goes against 2000 years of Christianity. Or if it's, uh, you know, the, the virgin birth wasn't the virgin birth or uh, there's no true presence in the Holy Eucharist. Time to step up and fight. Um, and so I guess that's those are my two my two criteria for fighting. Uh, number one, if the church goes against and espouses heresy against the dogmatic and doctrinal teachings of the Catholic Church, I'm going to fight. Number two, if the church ever asks me to do something I believe is against God's law or intrinsically evil, I'm going to fight. And that's when I'm going to step out and I'm going to become more traditional and say, and you know what, I'm not, al I'm not with you guys along on this ride. Uh, but if it's matters of Catholic discipline, people, you got to really... That's the hard part. Like everybody wants the, uh, the mass they want. Everybody wants the worship they want. Everybody wants to be able to receive the Eucharist the way they want. Well, the church gets to decide that. That's the marriage hysterium. And the hard part about obedience is it's hard, right? You don't want to do things you don't want to do. And well, um, that you're going to have to pray over. Well, anyway, this is Catholic Dad. Make you think about it. Please like or subscribe. You have the mass. Pray the daily rosary. And uh, share with your friends. Uh, God bless you all.